What is up everybody, Dan in the Fireman here. Today we're gonna to be going over a Moto Stars video and we're just gonna check it out. Some crucial advice for avoiding motorcycle crashes in traffic. All right, so we're gonna be turning right. This guy's doing a little weird stuff. And there's a really abrupt right turn. We should not be doing that as the white truck. Let's go and take a look at what kind of happened here. So we're coming up to an intersection, which should be automatic orange stage anyways just in case something like this happens. We wanna cover our brakes, we want to slow down obviously, so when we're slowing down, weight's gonna be transferred to the front tire, it's gonna be easier to brake and squeeze, 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 squeeze. So it's gonna come up to here. The guy's in the left lane, the truck's in the left lane. Switching over to the middle, okay, not a big deal, it's pretty typical. So we're starting to squeeze our front brakes, okay, good, we're, we're coming up to an intersection, we know we gotta turn. So this guy is in the middle lane, right turn only. Kind of awkward why are we switching that yeah so to me it's like that awkward feeling so like i said it's gonna be in that orange stage it's like huh something is not working out right so let's go and take a look at this really weird he should be kind of accelerating through the intersection turning left so it's not something i like plus he's in the middle of the uh two lanes um so that's going to tell me something so right here boom immediately didn't like it. The rider also did not like it. Applied really good brake pressure. So we're already starting to become a, a smart rider. He's seeking and recognizing and understanding that this is a hazardous situation. And with that, he's putting himself in a good position. He located the hazard. He's assessing if this is a threat and he's navigating that threat. So very good, smart rider on this part. Now take a look at that. We don't have to come to a complete stop, but we need to be able to slow down to almost to a stop, at least in this position, because this person's still kind of moving. So we don't really have to stop, stop. But if you take a look, we can stop pretty easily if we already have that weight transferred, we're already squeezing the brakes, lots of weird stuff. So practice your braking. We do have some videos on Motorcycle Training Concepts YouTube channel. Plus we got the cone patterns right there. Yeah, Cardo's right there too, but grab yourself a cone pattern. If you wanna practice your brakes, you wanna practice your acceleration in a parking lot, lots of good stuff here. New discounted price, I think this is $18 right now just for this. Let's go ahead and grab it. All right, so right here we have a the result of a mirror check before a lane change. Already we can see that we are in a blind spot of this car, okay? So do we start to see some patterns here? Let's go and take a look. Okay, not a big deal. Ooh, slamming the brakes on us. Why did that happen? Well, there's an intersection coming up. We don't know exactly why, but... It's not something that we want to be a part of. So let's take a quick look. All right, so yeah, we're in the blind spot. I'm already in orange stage just because of that. I do see an intersection coming up and it's very hard to see just because of the GoPro, uh, but you see the lights. You definitely see the lights coming up. So we're gonna be in automatic orange stage. I keep saying that. If you don't know what we're talking about here, we do have the color code chart. White is no buenos. You don't want to be uh, zoned out. Yellow, you're zoned in. So about 80% of the time, you are zoned in to the situation. So when you're riding, typically that's what's happening. But when you see a corner, you get into a blind spot. You see the side of the vehicle. You see an open lane pattern. You see an intersection. You're going to be jumping into orange stage just because that's going to be something that possibly could happen. That's where a lot of crashes happen. A lot of close calls happen. So we're gonna have that uh, awareness going on. And that's really where planning comes into play. If you notice, P is yellow. So we're always consistently, can't even say the word, positioning for safety. But then once we um, find something, we're locating hazardous situations and assessing, that's when we're in orange stage. Red is navigating that threat. So we wanna get ourselves out of these situations and move out of the way. If you don't know what we're talking about, we do have a motorcycle training course Check it out, links in the description, and this is the first unit. We really focus on the MTC awareness stages and planning your ride. We're updating everything. This is the new plan, but let's go ahead and move into this one right here. There's brakes. Okay, got brake lights. We got a decent space cushion. We're doing pretty good here. Doing pretty good. Not too bad, not too bad, but why are we all of a sudden slamming the brakes? Don't know. Don't care. Really don't care. So we're applying the brakes here. And depending on speed and depending on our skill level, we could probably stop in here. But one of the things that happens is that when you are applying the brakes, you're not gonna have that total stopping distance, okay? We do have a good space cushion, but our total stopping distance isn't the best. We have to react, perceive, and then have braking distance equal total stopping distance. The faster you go, the more braking distance you need. So that's why I tell you guys not to speed. But if something's happening to where you just don't have enough braking distance, you're gonna collide with something. So what we can do is apply brakes to buy ourselves some time and some cognitive uh, reasoning basically going on to where we can figure out, okay, where is our escape path? What can we do? Because we're not stopping in time. 
what can we do? Can we swerve into oncoming traffic? It doesn't look like there's anybody there, but I will take that opportunity if I have to because we don't need a lot of room, lane filtering and everything. Maybe swerve to the right. Well, we got this vehicle here, and now you're really going to have to lane filter tremendously. So right here, yeah, maybe go ahead and swerve and then maybe get back in lane or you can swerve and do what he just did. Now, I know he slowed down quite a bit because he did collide, but that's one of the things is that you're going to want to get yourself to slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Then make a different decision. Okay. You got to do something. You got to get yourself out of these positions because if you don't, you're going to collide with somebody and there's that hand. Okay. So take a quick look at that right hand. This is, he has motorcycle gloves. It's still going to be painful BC he has knuckle protection. He still might break uh, some of the metal. I'm sorry, your phalanges, not a good situation there. So think about mechanism of injury here, hand injuries, not good. Okay, if you work with your hands, this kind of accident is going to be a big problem. Hopefully, he's fine. Okay, so with that said, everybody, I hope you guys ride safe, be safe. Grab yourself a Smart Rider Drill booklet. Links in the description. Just click that. It's riding smart slash one dash link. You only need one link. You get rescue packs, this, and all the affiliates below. I'll see you guys around.